Hi, I'm Nan Enerson. I'm a CTA trainer, mentor coach. I was certified in 2004, so I'm a CTA grad. I have trained around 800 coaches to date. <sighs> well, I think like almost all coaches, I was always the go-to person. You know, everybody came to me when they had problems, they wanted to talk, they, they came to me and they always seemed to go away feeling, feeling better. And I knew I had a gift for that. Um, I worked in the nonprofit world for more than 30 years as a trainer and, and uh, manager and eventually as executive director and I burned out. I took off a year and I saw a television program about coaching by Rhonda Britton and I didn't realize that I could make money doing <laughs> exactly what I'd always been doing, you know? So um, I did some research and I just knew that that's, that was gonna be my career. What made me uh, choose CTA? Well, I did my research. I looked at a number of coaching schools. What I loved about CTA was what they call the three-legged stool. I wanted to know the structure of a coaching call. I wanted to know the structure of a coaching business. I have had lots of entrepreneurial experience, a business experience, but I had no clue about a coaching business. So CTA was going to teach me how to start and up and, and grow a coaching business, how to enhance my coaching skills and you know learn to be a good coach, and how to market my coaching business so I would be successful. So I was I was in. <laughs> in terms of becoming a faculty member, I mean I have been training all of my life. Everywhere I went, I was a trainer, an instructor, a trainer of trainers. I have, uh, over the course of 30 years, um, that really was a love of mine. This was an opportunity for me to combine two things that I really love to do, training and coaching, so it was a no-brainer for me. When I first started, my niche was relationship for singles. Um, and I did that for about eight years. My husband and I have been married now for over 48 years, very happily, and people wanted to know our secret. I started to tell my story about my burnout. And it happened because I was a type A, driven, perfectionist, uh, who became a workaholic. And I ignored the symptoms of stress. I figured I could work through the pain and I was just determined, you know, to do everything perfectly. Um, I ended up in a hospital room in an emergency department requiring an emergency surgery. And I didn't know it until afterwards, but the doctors told my husband and my two kids, who were teenagers at the time, that it was unlikely that I would survive that surgery. And, you know, I'm, I'm not proud that that's my story. I mean, I was very selfish. It was all about me. I had to be a perfectionist, you know, and it was all about my needs. And um, when I told that story, People started to really relate to it. They told me, I really relate to your story. And I realized that maybe this was a niche that was calling me. So now I work with type A um, coaches to help them overcome the analysis paralysis that comes from perfection and procrastination. And I help them get their businesses started fast so that they can you know, have professional and um, uh, personal balanced lifestyle. The common thread is change. In relationships, um, I found that the singles 
got tired of recreational dating. They didn't want to waste time. They wanted change. They wanted to get on with the, their future lives. The same with business owners. They just have perhaps different desires, but the common denominator is change. And when you want to make a transformation, there are three areas that you have to change. And the first one is self-awareness. Um, and you know how you think about yourself and um, your beliefs about your abilities and your self-confidence. And the second thing is your belief system. It's you know um, getting getting rid of limiting beliefs and believing about possibility that anything is possible if you're willing to work at it. And then the third element in transformation is getting rid of toxic behaviors because bad behaviors are what keep us stuck in you know the kind of life situations that we don't like and so when we're ready to change our habits and change our behaviors that's when transformation happens and it doesn't matter what the transformation is it's all about change Well, I think it's I think it's helping people through that change process. You know, taking seeing someone in the beginning who um, is concerned, who has a problem, may not understand how they want to deal with it. They might be feeling stuck, or they might have a, a a big dream, a big goal that they want for themselves, and they don't know where to start. Seeing people from moving from that place and seeing how just by taking small steps, you know, eating that elephant one bite at a time instead of all at once, taking the small steps that lead them closer and closer and then finally achieving that goal, experiencing that change and seeing the, the self-confidence that emerges and, um, helping them to celebrate their wins. People rarely remember to celebrate growth, you know? They're focused on what they haven't done yet. And so helping people to acknowledge and celebrate how far they've come, um, that's, that's huge for me. I think there are some people who think that life just happens. Somehow they're waiting for when life happens for them so that they can become engaged with it. And coaching is for those people who understand that uh, we have control over our own lives. We have the power to make our lives be anything we want it to be. I mean, my life was possessed by this need to be perfect, and I wasn't happy. Coaching has just changed my life now so that I love what I do. I love who I am now. I have a, a wonderful family life, a great business life, and I do things for fun, you know? I ask people, what do you do for fun? Helping people to have fun, no bigger joy than that.